Today we take a walk from Woolacombe Bay Holiday Park to Woolacombe on the North Devon coast. Walking again. It's time in the rain. It's on holiday though. Come walk with us. Woolacombe Bay Holiday Parks comprise four fantastic parks and we've holidayed here every year for the last three or four years. The beach is around 20 minutes walk from the park. 20 minutes on the way down, I hasten to add, using a combination of footpath from the holiday park, not suitable for pushchairs, and then the path along the main road where it emerges in Woolacombe. The village of Woolacombe shares its heritage with its sister village, Mort Ho, with a history reaching back far beyond the recorded beginnings of our civilization. However, whilst Mort Ho is still a charming, sleepy village almost untouched by time, Woolacombe, with its magnificent stretch of golden sand, is a thriving traditional village and holiday resort embracing the early traditions of the seaside family holiday. It's unlikely that any royalty have ever stayed at the Royal Hotel Willoughby. Deluxe. However, this ugly hotel with faded orange balconies and dated decor is set to get a luxurious new lease of life, hopefully. Willoughby Village Hall is 50 years old. And like every village hall throughout this land, it has a badminton court. Who is playing so much badders? St Sabanus' Anglican Church is part of the Coast and Coombe Mission community, together with the churches of St Mary's in Morto and St Matthew's in Lee. St Sabanus' was designed by W.D. Caro, built of local red sandstone and consecrated in 1912 though the north wall was not completed until 1965. So the last two or three days, the weather has been really amazing, uh, which has been most welcomed, because we arrived about two or three days ago. So it's been an absolutely fantastic holiday so far. We love Woolacombe. But this road here at the moment, you can hear moving traffic. Last few days, chocker queued all the way back up to the top of the hill, about a mile, mile and a half away, for hours on end, queuing to get into car parks that are £8 for the day, and the car parks hold about 500 cars. Ooh. The contact lens just fell out. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> I can only see out of one eye for the rest of the walk. Anyway, yeah, so there's hardly anyone down here today. But it's still absolutely beautiful. Great for the surfers. But as we come into the sort of, I don't know what you call it, a village, a town, the area of Willacoon, the centre area, it's a lot quieter today. Perfect day for a walk. Willacoon is steeped in history, a typical Edwardian slash Victorian coastal resort town dominated by large villa-style houses and grand hotels. It was first recorded in the Doomsday Book as Wolnikoma, literally meaning Wolves Valley. Loads of money! At the time, the valley was thickly wooded and presumably wolves could be found. Mm. <laughs> the beach has been recognised as one of the best beaches in Europe. It won the title of Britain's best beach twice in 2012 and 2015. Also ranking in polls as the fourth best in Europe and 13th best in the world.
As one no doubt annoying pious pillock once said, a rainy day at the beach is better than a sunny day at the office. The Red Barn in Woolacoom is completely unique. The barn has been a hit with surfers, locals and visitors for decades, both today and back in surfing's 1960s heyday. In the 1880s, Barnstable architect Arnold Thorne laid out Woolacoom for development as a coastal resort. Plots of land were set out and leased to individual developers for periods of 99 years by the Chichester estate. The development grew at a slow pace, the seafront along the Espionade being mainly a row of Victorian and Edwardian villas. With a rapid period of building from 1890, where maps show the Espionade devoid of buildings to 1905, when the shoreline frontage is mainly as it is today. One of the most significant and imposing buildings in the village is the Woolacombe Bay Hotel. The hotel was constructed in 1887 when it applied for its first license and was initially called the Shakespeare Hotel. The hotel was bought by the Lancaster family in 1978 who also owned the Woolacombe Bay Holiday Parks. The hotel was run by Roy and Rosemary Lancaster until the year 2000 when their daughter Sally returned and took over the reins. Over the last 20 or so years, Sally has taken the hotel to a new dimension, combining old world grandeur with new cutting edge design. What goes down must go up. <laughs> Hilarious, I'm guessing. The southwest coast path runs through the village with access to the North Devon coast, including the walk out and around Mort Point. We did it a few days after this, and it was absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Good on him. He's doing great, isn't he? <laughs> Can we do that last bit? <laughs> We've now spent many weeks over the last few years as a family holidaying in this area. I recommend Woolacoon, the holiday parks and all surrounding areas to everybody. Thanks for walking with us. Hope you enjoyed this snippet of Woolacoon as much as we did. Until next time. Keep walking, eh? See ya. <laughs>